everyone! Welcome back to Dee's BL World. It's been a while since I've been on the camera, but today's video is going to be a review of the very short BL drama, The Effect. Um, there was only three episodes of this drama, and it was, it, it touched on a very sensitive subject, uh, and I'm going to try to keep the, my remarks as best as possible to myself regarding, you know, regarding that. I don't want to, you know, add any animosity or anything. Now, like I said earlier, there's only three episodes of The Effect. And I was, I, I could tell from the trailer that it was a sensitive topic. But the, what the trailer portrayed to me uh, was that, Shin was after and like Kang. However, Kang was the one that was obsessed, was practically, you know, pulling Shin into all this. Shin had no idea. Shin had, was completely clueless, which is completely different than what the trailer had portrayed. And I was a little surprised by that. So in that first episode, I was completely blown away because what my what I picked up from the trailer was completely backwards. I enjoyed it as more of a refreshing, you know, aspect uh, associated with that. And I originally thought that the attack was based on jealousy for Shin liking Kang. But it, it totally wasn't that. Um, episode one, I thoroughly enjoyed. I, like I said, I was blown away that my uh, assumptions were completely wrong. Episode two, once again, the acting was good. The two looked so realistic um, back and forth. And Shin looked so clueless, so innocent, so naive, so clueless about the whole world, He, which he is. He was a, a hermit or antisocial. He never hung around with people. He never had friends. So this is a whole, all new world to him and a world he does not even understand or does not even know about. And for, you know, for those first two episodes, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Now the attack in and of itself, I, you know, I stomached it. I understood, you know, it's part of the storyline. I didn't like, you know, personally, I don't like when they go in, you know, into that much graphic it wasn't that graphic, but it was enough for me um, to kind of, you know, almost want to turn away from uh, from the screen. However, episode three, I, I'll just be blunt. I didn't like episode three at all. To me, it was unrealistic. It would, there's no way that someone, unless you are forced tooth and nail, would I sit there that much next to my attacker look at my attacker, have that attacker in my house where the attack went, happened. Sorry about that, the battery's died. <laughs> okay, so I'm not sure exactly where I left off. Episode three of the series is the one episode that I personally just did not like. It ruined the, ep the drama in and of itself, um, for me anyway. It, there, there is no way that I would allow my attacker to come into my house and sit next to me. There is no way. And and I'm talking from experience. There is no way that that would happen. You would have to tie me down to the chair or sedate me for that to happen. There is no way. Um, I didn't like that they kept forcing Shin and Kang to, to talk to each other, to be around each other. I didn't like that at all. Episode 3 ruined what had started to be a, a good drama. I enjoyed the first two episodes. Number 3, I didn't like. And I, I adamantly did not like Episode 3 at all. Um, the way they ended it was, and I'm not alone in this, I saw this over multiple, multiple boards the the ending was a little confusing did he hallucinate did shen hallucinate and see kang was kang actually over there 
Did they both get hit by a car? I don't know. The ending is, is just like, what the heck? You know, you, you had a good drama and you ended it like that. That, I just, Shen finally was getting his act together. He finally went back to school. He got his diploma and for it to end like that, I, I, I don't know what to say. I just, you know, at this point, I would say this is not one that I would recommend um, for others to, to see, especially if you're triggered by the attack uh, and the rape. If you're triggered by that at all, this is not going to be a drama for you to watch. Um, you won't be able to get past episode two, and you definitely won't be able to stomach episode three. Um, however, episode one was good, <laughs> you know, and the beginning of episode two was good. But up until that point, you know, unfortunately t for me, it, it's it's going to be a non-recommend drama. And it, it's sad. It had so much potential. It was so, it was going so good. Um, they could have handled it so much better. And I would have, even with the attack in there, I would have given it a thumbs up. I would have given it a... a it would have put it on my list of things, of dramas to recommend. But with that in there, it's a no-go. Episode 3 completely ruined it for me. Well, I hope you like this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe down at the bottom. And I'll be coming back with more dramas and more reviews coming up soon. If you have anything that you would like me to review, go ahead and put it in the comment section. And I will add it to my list of the dramas that I'm currently watching. Can't wait to see you at the next video. Bye!